getting started with new wire. Um, in this video, we'll cover the um, product fundamentals. So we'll check together what a journey is, how to create journeys, how to create some basic ones, and how to create tips. So what actually is a journey? A journey explains a process uh, with a step-by-step -step guide. So it will explain a linear um, process uh, with multiple bubbles following as much as possible the behavior of the uh, user. So as you can see on the screen you might have some um, very basic operation which would be uh, the login interaction and you are able to, do, um, to create bubbles which will guide as the user is going into the, the, um, the specific process through different steps. Um, the difference from journey to a tip is that essentially tips uh, do not explain a linear process but it will more, like, uh, more explain a specific element. So do not explain um, a linear process but it will give you contextual additional information to uh, one specific context of your uh, environment. Now let's open together the editor and see how to actually make some content, how to make journeys and tips. So I will open my editor over here and the editor, new art editor is a standalone application which uh, needs to be installed in, in your computer and you can get the download uh, for it from your own portal. So under the download section you get the downloaded editor and then uh, you, you get inside, you, you create the, your credentials, you log in and there you have your editor set up. Now the editor behaves as a usual um, browser so as you can see uh, over the, the bigger side uh, we have the whole uh, browser behavior browser-like application which allows us to guide, uh, to navigate through um, any any kind of site uh, in our case we, we would have to choose of course our uh, target web, web application on which we want to build uh, some guidance on so once we are on our web application of choice uh, we'll have to start using our sidebar that you see here this allows us to create new journeys and, and new content, uh, also new tips. So let's start to create a very basic simple journey which would cover the login process uh, over my um, Sweet CRM web application which is an example of uh, any kind of application that works over web. So let's start by clicking the plus button here, create a new journey and as soon as I cl uh, click that I will have my bubble here on which I can attribute my journey name. In this case we'll do we'll call it login journey. And we click on save. Now once you create it, you will have this uh, over your sidebar, which allows you to create uh, multiple sequential steps. From here, by clicking the plus. You can choose between a different choice of um, steps that we can give to, to our guidance. Uh, we have a, a few different options to, to, um, to cover any, any kind of need that we need to, um, to describe over, over your, your application. So let's start by having a simple callout over our username. So we want to type, uh, we want to say to the user, start typing your username here. So I'll add, add the callout. And you see, as soon as I click callout, we will have this selector over here. Now, the selector helps us define uh, the score of reliability of the elements over your page. So uh, as you can see, you have uh, five, five dots which give you generic score of that element. So the higher the score, the better. Uh, meaning that if the, the score is high enough, uh, Newart 
guarantees that that element gets selected uh, over time because it has unique properties, um, which is fundamental to make it make again find it again over and over for any kind of end users. You may find some cases where you have lower score. Now, uh, this would mean that the element you're uh, currently selecting it's not extremely reliable. Um, even so, you're still able to attach uh, some steps on it, uh, and but it, there are some ways to make it improved uh, that we cover in another video, which is uh, advanced selector precisions that you can check out. In this case, we need to pick up the username element. So this one is a very good uh, score. I don't need to to um, to worry about having the, the the step reliable over this specific one. So I'll I'll simply click over my um, element, and as you can see, already a bubble starts appearing, and I'm able to type and start creating my step. So we have some inline editing capabilities, which allows us to directly start writing over the bubbles any kind of content that we know uh, we need to to give. So in this case, I will say type, I will, I will just write here, type your username here, and I'm also able to simply uh, drag this over different directions in my, um, compared to my, to my, my uh, element here, so I'll, for example, in this case I want to, to have it, I want the bubble to be over the right side, so I will simply drag it over here, and I simply change my position here. Now, from here I can also define the uh, types of transitions that I can give to my um, to my specific bubble. Now, transitions are very fundamental because they define the way that uh, the, the end user will trigger the next steps. So it's, it's very important to define the best way for uh, for your user, for whoever is using journeys, to pick the correct one. Now we have a different option set set of options over here. As you can see, we have the click transition, which simply gets triggered by clicking over the specific element that we selected. Uh, and as soon as you click, it will simply go forward. Uh, we have the next button, which you see uh, it creates a next button here. Uh, that you need to click in order to move forward. We have edit input, which is the choice for this specific step. Edit input essentially gives you, um, it, it will wait for you to, to, to start typing over some edit box. So as soon as you are typing your username, the, user, uh, the, the bubble will go forward to the next one, which is the one that we need to go. But let's go through all of them and then we'll go back to the edit input and finish our first login journey. Um, another one is value change. Value change is used mostly for drop down menus. Uh, so as soon as you are selecting some drop down menu um, value, so you are picking over any, any kind of choice over your, your drop down menu, it will read the change. Over, um, over your element and then simply go through. So in the case that you want to have um, like multiple selection or a different case where you simply select something, this is the case to use value change. Uh, another one, as the name explains, hover transition, which gets simply triggered by hovering the element that uh, we selected. Uh, we have multiple step, which allows you to uh, have mo more than one step appear together. So essentially, if I input this multiple step over here, uh, this first step will appear with the second one. And we also see how, how that looks as soon as we have more. Um, then we have timing, which as the name says, you define some specific uh, number, which would be in seconds. Uh, after that, uh, it, it will simply go through and move forward. And then we have uh, URL change, which will read the behavior of the browser 
uh, as soon as uh, the URL changes, it will move next. So in this case, we'll ch we'll choose edit input, right? Because we we want to the user to start typing something. Uh, and once I have my my basic step, I can simply confirm my changes from here. So I simply click this, and I can s go ahead and start typing and adding my other um, my other bubbles. So I'll click, add another callout over password, and I can say uh, type your password here. Move this again over the right side, and switch to edit input because it's it's very similar to the, the other one that we have as the username uh, now we confirm this one and we need only another one step which would be you know click over the login button so very simple journey three steps which help you through the, the login process so I, I type click here the transition of type click because we want to click over the login, login button and I confirm the changes. Now, I do have drafted down my basic um, journey using callouts, but what if I want to add some different kind of bubbles uh, which are not callouts? So, wh what are my choices? As we can see here, uh, we can add uh, a dialog, and a dialog uh, essentially it's, it's very similar to steps, but the only thing that changes is that it doesn't need to be referenced to any specific element inside the page. So it's a more um, bigger bubble, bigger step, which doesn't really need to be attached to anything and uh, acts as a like a overlay over your your screen. Now this is mainly used for uh, introductions or if you have a lot of content that you want to share with your end users you can use these as you, you see you can have much space over here you can start typing some very uh, big content uh, here and, 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 and go on um, or maybe you want to share some video um, or media file any related to, 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 the, to the training or to, to the process that you want to explain or simply to conclude whatever you are um, explaining over over your journey so this is the the dialogue but what if we want to and let me just let me just delete this over here what if we want to also add a panel the panel is very similar to the dialogue but essentially uh, instead of being in at the center of the screen and by the way the dialogue um, the dialogue locks any kind of other additional inputs over the web application so you can only simply either close the the model uh, the, the dialog or move uh, forward with the next button or timing uh, or the, the, the panel simply allows you to do multiple um, inputs and continue working with your uh, web application as you have this bubble appear on screen so I just created a double so let me just delete this one and I'll go edit this other one so I can add my uh, like congratulations let's see because sequentially we are now typing username typing password clicking over the login button and now I expect to be inside the CRM application so right now I would just was simply want to say congratulations you're now inside the web application and done so okay so right now we have this this other uh, dialogue over here which will appear as soon as we log in let's now simulate this uh, this journey by simply clicking the play button here so I will play my journey 
click over here I will start typing my demo and then I switch to password and type my password here and then I click over login so you see now it's logging in I have my bubble here as you can see I'm previewing as I'm going through the uh, the application I can test I can also change and tweak any any kind of um, content inside my bubbles with the in-place editing uh, also switch transitions and, and, and go on but now I'm inside my application I can I can go wherever I still have my bubble that gives me contextual information without being too much aggressive um, and I can simply quick click my end journey and that's it I'm inside I did the process and um, that's how you actually create a login journey.